Pray for World Liberation, Part One of Five on Between Master and Disciples, Health in English. How are you? I'm、um, good, thank you, Master.、Uh, how is Master? Happy Lunar New Year, huh? Oh, thank you very much, Master. Happy Lunar New Year to you too. Ah,、uh, to you and everyone. Thank you, Master. Hopefully, the people on this planet will be more protected and continue to survive. Yes. Everything's going smoothly over there. The project is going okay. Yes, Master. Everything's good. Thanks to God. Thanks God for things going smoothly. Yeah, it's good. Thank you, too, Master. How are you, Master? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. It's not much of the New Year <laughs> for、oh. me being alone. All、oh, right. But it's quite cool. I don't have time to think too much about anything. Just very busy. Very busy. That's it. Right. Yes. Very yes. busy.、Hmm. Oh. I will send you a photograph. I have just made. I am in selfie, and then you can show it to your brothers and sisters. Okay.、So、they, they will know how I am. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the the brother he's doing well, huh? The brother who helps. He should be. Yes. Yes. He owns me something <laughs> from the past. Yeah.、Oh, he、see. he doesn't remember, but he be willing to do things. Oh. To make up for it,、okay. not that I wanted anything from him. <laughs> yes. Anything that's more uplifting? Yes, we have a couple of things.、Um, Master, could you please tell us more about your dog, people? My what? Master's dog, people. Could you please tell us more about your dog, people? Oh, they are just lovely people. They are just lovely beings and very loyal, very protective,、oh. very respectful in any way. I just do wish that a lot of humans would learn from dog people to be good, to be more in tune with heaven's will. They are truly. Maybe other dog people are different. <laughs> My dogs they are very in tune with heaven's blessing, power, and they are very protective. They do whatever they can and are very very obedient. I can't say obedient; just very cooperative. Very respectful. For example, if I say, "Okay, that's it now,"、uh, petting time's over. <laughs>、uh-huh. I must, I must go continue my work. For example, like that. Then they would just lie down, absolutely quiet. That you could drop a pin and hear it. Wow. Yeah. Or they go to their beds, and they know immediately. If I say go to bed, they know it's their bed time. They go. Even if maybe it's a new situation, a new home, they would know where their bed is, and they will go there and lie down at least for a while. Okay,、oh, and then、yes. maybe sneak back into my <laughs> my place again. Yeah. <laughs> But if I'm still busy, you know, if I'm concentrating, like、uh, maybe meditating or maybe concentrating on my outside work. On、yes. computer or telephone, then they just lay down quietly,、wow. very, very quietly. No demanding. My God, it's so quiet that that you feel like like there's there's not even no no air in the room. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They sometimes wake up also very late in the night or very early in the morning to come down in a troop or alone to tell me that. I should not work anymore. It's too late now because、uh, some group of demons may be passing by very near and will disturb my peace. For example, like that. Sometimes I don't notice. Then the wrist being scolded by peeing, <laughs> hot pooing even in some room or in front of me, so that I will have to notice and listen to what they want to say. It's not pleasant, of course, but. What can they do if I'm too busy and not listening to their grand advice? Like, don't work too late. 
Oh, I, I forgot. Uh, there are so many things. I cannot say anything. Oh. Like a long time ago, another group of dog people. There was a dog named Happy. Yes. yes. One time I, I didn't see her for a long time. Not long, just like one or two hours. I went shopping. I was alone and taking care of five dog people. And it was a new place. And I always had to move. <laughs> uh, for some reason and for some uh, security stuff. And when I came back, I opened the door. Oh, she didn't jump on me. She didn't bark. She was just like singing in her voice and she danced the most beautiful dance <laughs> that I have ever seen by a dog person. <laughs> And I'm not sure if I've ever seen that on humans either. Wow. I wonder where she learned that. She danced all over from one uh, corner to another, not in a hurry, not hectic, nothing, just so gracefully, so beautifully. Oh. And she looked at me whenever she turned in my direction. And she kept dancing, dancing, I was just standing there. Oh, I also amazing. could not move because I was watching her. Yes. So mesmerized with her dance movement. Oh, wow. And then finally, I can't remember how long, maybe 15 minutes or 20 minutes, more or less. And she came to me, put her paw on my hand. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. And then I knelt down and I hugged her and kissed her. And then we went down. I said, oh, thank you so much for this beautiful dance. All the animal people are just so protective of humans. I wish all humans would know this and be grateful. Even all the birds, people around, wherever I go, they're always around. And sometimes I work until very late at night, three, four o'clock in the morning, and the whole sky is dark because I live where there's no lights around, and I don't keep the light on to save electricity and whatever I can, you know? Wow. And I open the door to walk out into maybe a yard or something, just to have some fresh air, yes. a little exercise, and they all somehow woke up. Oh. And they were telling me things or singing things. I, I was so astounded. I said, you cannot be singing at this time. And then I listen, listen, and then they always gave me some encouragement or some advice or some comforting words or some loving messages. Oh, so touching so nice. all the time, all the time. And even if they're far away from my place, yes, like, you know, they're hiding in some forest edge far away, they still would sing, talk and tell me things. Oh. And I can hear, I can hear it faintly. Wow. Sometimes I have to use the inner ears to hear because it's too far. Okay. Yeah. And I'm always grateful to all beings around me, wherever I go. Yes, Master. Wherever I go, they are such wonderful beings and they're so loving, so kind. They're always very protective of humans, even if I have not seen them. And that's why most dog people don't like you to touch their heads because that is where they're connected with heaven. Oh. Heaven uh, power. My dog people don't like it. Oh, well, I do it. I do it only to touch their third eye and remind them that they're from the divine. Oh. And they should not forget God all the time. Every time I can, I do that. Otherwise, I rub their tum tums and rub their necks, you know, <laughs> their throats. And they, yes. they always like it. And if I want to hug them, then meanwhile, I use my hands. Not just hug and, you know, so tightly in my arms, but I massage them and they like that. Oh, okay, nice. And massage under their ears, around their ears, the neck, the back, their legs, and their tails. And then they just have to drop, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they drop on their bed or on the floor and continue enjoying the massage. Yes. <laughs> Closing their eyes and like uh, humming or what does the cat do? Purr. Uh, purring. purring, yes, purring. Dog purr. <laughs> yeah, dog purrs. A little bit different than the cat, but it is still a purring type <laughs> of noise. Enjoying, you know, enjoying. Yeah. Yeah. And when I just stop for a while because I was probably itching or just resting, they put their paws on my hand, <laughs> drawing it to their body again. <laughs> More please. <laughs> yeah. That's so encore, nice. encore, encore, encore. <laughs> encore, yeah. Uh, 
and they are so good, so good. Oh, I can't remember all the things they do. They're so endearing, you know, so endearing. Like I have a sofa somewhere, wherever, if I can, I have a sofa. And, you know, the rest sometimes on it, I'll sit there and read something or call on the phone. They never want to go up there. I invite them. They oh. say, no. I say, why? You don't like me? They say, no, no. It's for you. We respectfully give it for you. We sit on the floor. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Oh, they are so respectful. So respectful. Oh, it's amazing. Yes, amazing, amazing. And there's one dog in the present group. She would never eat anything, even her favorite uh, uh, veggie bone, until I pet her. Oh. Until I caress her and tell her that she's wonderful, she's good, and she's my friend, and I always love her. Then she will eat. Oh, wow. Before I didn't know, I thought, what's wrong? Is something wrong with her, you know, sick or something? Hmm. And then when I touch her, I say, are you okay? Ah, I still love you. Don't worry. Always good. This is just a snack for love. And then she ate. Then I know from then on. <laughs> and then next time, the same, the same, the same. Then I know that she needs to be shown love before she eats because they love those kinds of stuff. Like I give them some seaweed, you know, mm -hmm. seaweed sheet, something like that. And then a little uh, veggie bone to clean the teeth after. Yeah. Okay. She loves to eat, but she won't eat unless, <laughs> oh. unless she has the dose of lovey dovey first. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Things like that, you know. That's her appetizer. <laughs> yeah, 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 perhaps so, yeah. <laughs> it's more important than the food that she <laughs> loves, more than the favorite food. And then she will eat immediately, like hungrily, you know, <laughs> because this is her favorite food, yes. Oh, wow. But I always ask God first, because everyone, all beings, are allotted some kind of a sum of food or money or whatever possession they have. Oh. So I always ask God first, please, even if my dogs don't have enough merit to eat some extra food, please, uh, it's on me. Oh, wow. Please bless it so that they may be able to enjoy just some little bit of extra things in life. Being a dog is already not an easy life. Yeah. So I pray and bless before I give it to them. Wow. Because I was told before that dog people should not eat too much more than they have. They've already been fed all day. Okay. A special food and design menu and all that already. But whenever they came to see me, I would like to give them a little bit extra of something, their favorite. Yes. But I always have to pray first and ask the food to be blessed in case. Oh. <laughs> and I say, they came to me, they're my guests, so please... I need to fit to get something. Right. And it's on me, whatever, whatever karma. If I remember something else, I will tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and you know, they are very endearing. Like before they go out for a walk with the assistant, they always come first to me to say so long, you know, making, <laughs> making some fuss, you know. Like kissing my toes or prostrating or jumping or just very endearing. And one of the dog people, the smallest one, keep running back and forth, back and forth between the assistant and myself. She couldn't make up her mind to stay, to go. She wanted to stay, but she had to go to do her business. So she was just feeling very like struggling. So finally I had to say, go, please. And then she left, like immediately. She leaves immediately. Many of them are like that. Most of them, they're very, very reluctant to go out, leaving me alone, but they have to. They know that, so they kind of struggle and always come to me and try so hard, want to stay and all that. And I have to tell them, see you next time, very soon to reassure them that we will not be apart for too long. They're very, very endearing, very endearing. Oh, and whatever they ask me to do, I say, okay, I will do that, but give me some time, okay? Then they would, uh, you know, kiss my face. 
Meaning they know, they know it's okay. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. And uh, they always tell me if somebody's not good for me, but I say I don't have enough people. Okay, mm. good or not, I have to use. Uh. Because I have no no choice. I have to always move around, and wherever I go, I need to use whomever I can. Not using, but asking for help. Yes. And I always give them some extra, a little reward or some love or whatever I can, like snacks or whatever. Yes, master. And I pay for whatever service that is uh, done and necessary. I pay like outside people. Yes. Dogs, dogs, dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're so enduring. People ask us why be concerned about animals when so many human problems remain unsolved. Because we can. Because each year, each of us has the awesome power to spare 100 sentient beings just by choosing a diet that also happens to be better for our personal health and for the health of our planet. We don't have that kind of power to save human victims of oppression. Dr. Alex Hershaft, PhD, vegan.